Hello, so we are back in this time. We have a nice laptop to repair. Check here. Check the hinge repair. That's a proper hinge repair. <laughs> Definitely, it's not made by me. Uh, the job is coming from a rocker repair shop and he's saying no turning on. I would say let's plug a charger and see what he's doing. This is a classic Acer, so most likely we can repair whatever is faulty here. We have an Intel i3 CPU. Let's plug the charger and see what he's doing. We need a blue Acer pin, which is this one. And plug in the charger. And it's taking current, check that, so it's not a charging port. 500 milliamps, 600, we have the charging LED there. Pressing the power button, and it's coming on. Huh? It's coming on and switching off, but the current is not going up, you can see that? So pressing the power button, the LED is coming on, but the current is exactly the same. Yeah, this is a proper strange fault. We have no screws on the back cover. So the back cover, it's out. You know what? Maybe I was wrong. This is not a classic Acer. The one we know with the, with the blue pin charger. Okay, the fault it is strange. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to unplug the battery can be related with the hinge job if the screen was uh, unplugged with the battery plugged in so this coil is good this is good this is good this is good yeah and here you have the CPU and it's good hmm. unplug in the BIOS battery so plug in the laptop and it's taking some power Pressing the power button, basically it's taking no current at all, nothing. It's only the LED which is coming on. Let's have a look at the EC chip. The EC chip is looking good. What is that? What is that? Check that. I'm not sure if you can see it. Check that. That's liquid damage. Here, this is liquid damage. But otherwise the board is looking fine. Huh? Yeah. So it's only that spot with liquid damage, that's the only problem. Hmm? Let's check with the multimeter. This one, the capacitor is good, but the pins can be shorted. Yeah, we can't see with the multimeter. Let's clean it quickly. Oh, huh? clean, right? It was just a little bit there. The easy chip, the easy chip is looking fine, but you know what? Let's clean it. Perfect. So what about now? Now it will work? That's the question. Let's see. So plug in the charger. And it's looking good. Pressing the power button. Check that 700 milliamps. You can see that 700, 900, 900, but no picture. We have to wait more or hmm? yeah that was the only problem C 
Come on, give me a picture. <gasps> the laptop shut down. The laptop start by itself, and that's a good sign. Yeah. Why is no picture? Caps lock. You can't see the caps lock working. 1.1 amp, check that. 1.2 amps, actually. The CPU is warm. We have picture! That's crazy! It took a while for the laptop to start. Ha! <laughs> Where is the BIOS battery? I unplugged the BIOS battery. You think the BIOS battery fell down? Okay, let me find the BIOS battery, but it is working. I found it, I found it. So if the laptop is on and you plug the BIOS battery, uh, it will retain the BIOS. So BIOS battery is plugged. If I unplug the power, yeah, I'm plugging the power, plugging the power back. The laptop it will start straight away. Pressing the power button, the laptop it is coming on, and should come on straight away. Yeah, we have picture. Yeah, fantastic. Let's see if the laptop is charging. And let's see what power supply is that one. Actually, you know what? I think the battery is fully charged. I'm plugging the charger and it's working on the battery power. Good. Let's check that coil, just for you to know. So if you have this kind of like symptom coming on with actually taking no current. So this power supply, it was 3.3. Ha, this is the big 3.3 for the chipset. Yeah. Obviously, if the chipset is not coming on, then... Uh, in the laptop it will not uh, it will not start so what do you think hmm? a proper easy pizza right yeah we need sometimes this kind of jobs yeah what is to learn from uh, from this video is always you know check the motherboard because just a small drop of water you see that just two pins together that's all a small drop just a small drop you know, can uh, turn your laptop dead. So yeah, we fix it. Yeah, proper hard job. Yeah, we can call it a motherboard repair. I mean, we fix it. Definitely, we made a customer happy. So you see, no, all the jobs are like hard. Like, you know, easy cheap replacements. Chips are replaced. No, just clean it a little bit and yeah, you're fine. No, actually, we don't have screws. Yeah, no screws. But this is interesting. I mean, clearly, this hinge it will not die again. You can see like two screws there. We fix it. I'm gonna stop now. I will say uh, thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video, and see you on the next one. Bye. Hey. If you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our members only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay where you can find some cool and unique products, United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.